A lot of us get into an emotion, like <coughs> say the emotion of like I hate women comes up, right? So you know, with what women have done to me and all those kind of things, I finish up feeling this feeling of emotion inside of me of hating women. But let's say that's emotion is inside of me, and if I'm a woman, let's say it's that I hate men emotion, right? Is inside of me. If that emotion, if I stay in that emotion, rather than actually experiencing that emotion, I'll actually, I could actually do some very, very damaging things from that point onwards to, to women or men, right? The key, the key is to get into the emotion. So let's say the emotion is I hate women, and then get out boxing gloves or a bag or a, you know, a bat, and just go hell for leather, just expressing that emotion to its full depth. In a, in, a, in a situation where you're not projecting the emotion on other people, right? And just go for it and really, really go for it and really get into it. If you do that within a few minutes, generally, you'll get underneath that emotion and into the grief that that emotion covers. You follow me? But if, if you don't fully express it, you will seethe with it. And when you seethe with it, you will not address the emotion. And on top of that, you will actually be projecting lots of damaging emotion to every single person around you, your own children, every single person around you will be receiving those emotions because you're not owning them. The instant you own it will be the instant you choose to fully experience it and do it in a setting that, that, is, that is a safe setting. And, and so this is where, in the end, every setting will be a safe setting, right? Like, Somebody will, you know, you, somebody will trigger your I hate women emotion and you'll be able to just go outside and yell and scream and rant and rave and everyone will say, isn't it great? He's just connected with that emotion, right? <laughs> Nowadays what happens a lot though, when somebody goes outside and rants and raves and carries on about something, what do we all feel? <laughs> Heaps of judgment, don't we? And so therefore they shut down and they never get to the underlying grief. And, and so... The capping, we stay in the capping emotions often. So don't stay in those. Go into them and fully experience them. Really allow yourself to fully experience the capping emotion. So like this week I've had a lot of rage with, with God, you know, and so I'm out with a baseball bat, you know, swearing and screaming and banging, right? And, and I'll describe some of those emotions that I was feeling a, bit late, a little later. And just go for it. And, and you find within a few minutes... Uh, all the emotion just rises in you and you, you go into the grief that that rage is covering. Yeah. So allow yourself to fully experience the emotion. Really get into the emotion. Go deeper and deeper and stay in it as long as possible. Because what will happen to, is that a lot of people feel that oh, you can stay in it for years. The truth is you can only stay in a capping emotion for years. The actual causal emotion is experienced just like you would have experienced it as a child. Right? Well, how does a child experience rage? They might rage for 10 minutes and then it's all out of them, isn't it? And then what are they in? Crying and sobbing. And that might go for, let's say, half an hour. And then that's all out of them as well. Do you follow me? This is what often happens to a child. But because we've shut all that down, all that processing down, what's happened now is we need to go through that same process of fully expressing the rage, fully expressing the grief and really going into it and stay in it, stay in it until it's exhausted. And then when it's exhausted, you won't need to visit it again. If, if you didn't exhaust it, you will need to visit it again. So, so Jay's saying, use the law of attraction vibes that trigger a feeling, mm -hmm. go into it, and that, if you keep working into it, like some boxes and then it might bring up the closest of the core emotion around yeah. what is actually the child. And you don't even need to use the law of attraction moments. If you know that this week you had three times where you were angry with men, for example, then you can actually, you, you can write that down right at that moment, even if you don't feel you can experience it, and just revisit those first thing, you know, Friday night, come home, all right, I'm going to deal with this angry with men. You don't need to wait for another law of attraction trigger to deal with it. Just put yourself back into those situations. Get out, get out something that can express your rage and fully <coughs> express the rage to such an extent that you're like a child expressing the rage. And when you get into that state, you'll find that very soon afterwards, you'll get into the underlying state. If you don't do that, what will happen is you'll stay in a seething state, in a simmering state, right? And when you stay in a simmering state, there are, there are people in the spirit world who've stayed in that state for tens of thousands of years. 
in a seething state, right? Where you're seething but not actually experiencing the underlying emotion. So I don't, I'm not suggesting doing that. Yeah. 